Hey guys, what's up? This is Carl. I'm back in again today. Today I'm going to do a movie review about Final Fantasy XV, The King Glaive. Uh, first, I want to let you guys know I am an avid anime animation lover. I love Disney. I love anime. Just, you know, I love all that. I just, I'm a sucker for it. So I figure I'm going to go check it out. I actually watched this movie twice in a theater. So I enjoy it. I love action. Just to let you know. So... The basically the story, the gist about the story is where, uh, you know, the uh, King Louis is, is, you know, trying to get the mar uh, get his his son to marry another, uh, the the kingdom of Tenebrae, the princess to marry, so they can become a stronger, you know, allies, stronger nations. That's basically it. And then you have Nyx, there's the one of the main one of the main king's slaves, and he's fighting for. The, uh, the the nation the, the nation of insomnia so that's the story that basically it uh, so let me go on to the thing that I like about this movie the thing I like about this movie was it was great action oh my gosh it's great action uh, especially the last you know last part you know it's really great you know I love it I'm a, I'm a, again I'm a sucker for action you know any movie that have action you know I'll go for it and the second thing I, 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 I couldn't believe it was the CGI was really good. I mean, I couldn't believe it. There was this one scene, you know, I was watching it and I was like, wait, this can't be real because I thought the person was real. You know, it kind of flew, it kind of played a mind trick on me. So I was like, okay, you know, they did a really good job on the CGI. Everything looks great for little things, but overall... It was good CGI. It's probably one of the better CGI I've seen in the past. And the thing, uh, the next thing I like about this movie is, is the the city building, the cars. I mean, uh, 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 in, the city of Insomnia. I mean, I could imagine myself walking in the city and touching the thing and hear the noises, the people talking. It, it felt like the the animators, the uh, uh, the the animator they actually you know went all in and built everything from the ground up and you could tell in the details and the sound everything so I was like wow they really did put the work into building the cities and the monsters and everything so what are the bad things there are a lot of bad things about this movie I you know more than good things the first thing is that I was not invested in the characters. I didn't really care about the characters because the main character didn't really do anything for me. You know, he was just a soldier. He didn't really, you know, I wasn't invested in him. And another thing was I didn't like was the King Lucius and uh, Knight, Knight, Knight could have took the general out. There was this one scene where King Lucius had thousands of knives, and he could have like used that knife and just like stabbed King uh, the general, and he would have been done. But instead, he didn't do it. And I'm like, what the hell? You know what's going on? Yo, know, you're all powerful. You have all the power. You summon all these swords, and you couldn't take one guy out with thousands of swords. It just kind of dis, dis, you know, dispense my belief. And there was another scene where Nike is. Uh, a main hero is behind the general's back and he's like pushing his face against the, the glass and I'm like can't you just stab the guy from the back so I was like sorely disappointed that to me that you know these soldiers these king play weren't really they're not really trained to you know think on the think critically and think uh, 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 on the spot, you know, so I was like, you know, these King Glaive, they're really kind of like almost mercenary They don't, they're not really, like, you know, spec op, this special op, you know, operative that know how to deal with this different situation So I couldn't really like, you know, believe that So, and another bad thing about this movie, it was, it was long, two hours long Most of it is just the, uh, about, you know, 
getting the treaties together, meeting, talking. It was just dragged out. You know, I wish that was switch out, uh, fleshing out our main character, his backstory. You know, why did he join the King's Clave? Why did he want to protect the people in Asamia? You know, they could have used that opportunity to help, to make us in, feel involved in this character, and they didn't do it. So, but the moral of the story, the moral of the story is that uh, this King Glaive, the point of this King Glaive was, you know, to sacrifice himself for future generation from tyranny, from oppression, from destruction. You know, that's why this King Glaive fight is to protect the nation so younger generation can have an opportunity to see the world. You know, to see the, the greater side of the world. That's the thing I take from this movie. So, again, like guys, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Please like, thumbs up, share, subscribe to my YouTube channels. And uh, I'll keep bringing up more videos for you guys. I love movies. That's why I keep doing it. So, thank you again. Peace out.